what's up you guys? Marty Schwartz here with Marty Music. We're gonna break down the CCR song, second song about rain. You know, you gotta wonder why you didn't go for a third or fourth song about the rain, because they're hit songs. Anyway, we'll break it down, easy, strummy chords. If you haven't yet, I appreciate you subscribing to the Marty Music channel here, I really do. And then also I've got free courses and other bonuses and the links down there. All right, let's break it down. All right, starts with a G chord. And so if you keep your pinky, or if you play it this way, your ring finger, but the third fret high E, you play the G chord, and hit that, and then E minor, hit that same third fret high E, do it two times. And then the song. And if you're a beginner, down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up. And so if I say that one count, down, down, up, up, down, up is one, two, three, four. So that was one measure. So that was four counts, which is down, down, up, up, down, up of G. So. The song is two measure, the intro is two measures of G, two measures of E minor, and then two measures of G, and then the vocals come in. So the intro, one. Now the vocals, uh, two, three, two measures of G, one measure of C, back to two measures of G. Third measure of G, C, back to G. So from the uh, verse and the vocals coming in, it's two measures of G, one measure of C, and then three measures of G, one measure of C, one measure of G into the next refrain. But if you follow along with the lyrics, it feels solely natural. So from the top of the verse, G, 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 C, back to G, stay on G, stay on G, C, back to G. Next part, C, G, C, G, C, one measure, G, one measure, again the C, again the G, but now C to D, E minor, G. Second verse. So you've got G, C to G, these are all one measure, C, D, E minor, stop the G. And then just one measure of G before the second verse comes in. So sometimes, and especially folk music, this isn't folk music per se, it's classic rock, but sometimes in that folk music, you just hold on the one chord before you come in, country music too. So it just does one measure of G and then it comes back in. Now the second verse, same as the first, but instead of that little section where it's uh, three measures of G, it adds a B minor in there on that. Um, if you had three measures of G, that third G is now B minor instead. But everything else is the same as the first verse. So it's just got an extra little minor lift, so to speak. <clears throat> so that would look like this. Verse two, vocals come in on G for measure. Another G. C back to G. G now to B minor. C back to G. And not just the C to G parts. C for a measure. G for a measure. Again with the C. Again with the G. But now C. D. E minor. Stop the G. A 
treasure on G. So there's just a little bridge and then that's it for the song. It goes to another verse which is same as that second verse where that B minor is added. So the bridge, C, G, D, two, three, four, so it's like, so C, G, D, hold on D, same rhythm, A minor, C, E minor. One, two, three, four, and on the four of one, one, two, three, four, is a D chord. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And you just go right into that second verse. So one more time, the bridge. And the outro is that same as the intro, which is nice. It's where you hold that. All right, I hope you guys uh, got something from that lesson. Thank you again. If you haven't yet, I appreciate you subscribing to the channel. You can request stuff in the comments below. And then also, of course, links for free courses and other bonuses. Thanks again. Hope to see you soon.